In this video, we're going to solve the differential equation solution. This is a Cauchy Euler differential equation because the power of x matches the order of the derivative. Likewise, here you can think of there as being an x to the zero power, and it matches y, which is the zeroth derivative of y. Okay, when we're doing a Cauchy Euler differential equation, we always start by letting y be equal to x to the m. Now in this case, we have uh, a third derivative, so we have to differentiate this thing three times. So we use the power rule. So y prime is m x to the m minus one. All we do is bring the m in the front and then subtract one. Then y double prime, well you bring down the m minus one. Then we have m x, and then we subtract one. So m minus one minus one is m minus two. Then we do it again. <laughs> so y triple prime will be m minus two, m minus one, m x to the m minus three, okay? Hard to read, but m minus two, m minus one, m, and then x to the m minus three. So now we're gonna plug everything into the differential equation. So we have x cubed and then y triple prime. So that'll be m minus two, m minus one, m x to the m minus three minus six and then y is x to the m whenever you're doing a Cauchy Euler differential equation when you get to this step you want to combine the x's so we have x cubed and x to the m minus three when you multiply those you add the exponents so m minus three plus three is m so we have m minus two m minus 1, m, x to the m, minus 6, x to the m, equals 0. At this point, we can factor out an x to the m. So we get x to the m. Then here we get, looks like, I'm going to write it like this, m, m minus 1, m minus 2, just arranging the order, m, m minus 1, m minus 2, minus 6, bracket equals zero. We can divide by x to the m, so that goes away. Boom, boom. So we have m. I'm going to go ahead and multiply this out. m times m is m squared. The middle term is negative m. The outer term is negative 2m. That means it's going to give us negative 3m. And then negative 1 times negative 2 is positive 2 minus 6, and it's all equal to 0. So I just used some fast multiplication there. So m minus 1, m minus 2. So m times m is m squared. And then the inside is negative m. The outside is negative 2m. When you add those, you get negative 3m. Now we can distribute the m. So we get m cubed minus 3m squared plus 2m minus 6, and this is equal to 0. So now we have to try to solve this equation. <laughs> so we have four terms, so maybe factor by grouping is a good bet. So we can pull out an m squared here. That would give us m minus three. And it looks like we can pull out a two here. That would also give us m minus three equals zero. So now we can pull out an m minus three, and we're left with m squared plus two m minus 3, right? Pulling out the common factor of m minus 3 and writing it here equals 0. So we have a product equal to 0. That means each factor is equal to 0. So m squared plus 2 is equal to 0. And m minus 3 is equal to 0. This one's easy to solve. We just get 3. This one, we subtract 2, we get negative 2. When we take the square root, we get m equals plus or minus i square root 2. So it looks like we're going to have complex conjugates and a real root as well. So we can think of this as 0 plus or minus i square root 2, and that matches the form alpha plus or minus beta i. So you see that alpha is 0 and beta is the square root of 2. All right, so now we can use our formula. So this one is just going to give us C1x cubed. So that'll give us C1x cubed. 
And then these complex conjugates, they're going to give us plus x to the 0. So I won't write it, but x to the 0, right? That's, that's x to the alpha, so that's just 1. And then we'll have C2 cosine, and it's beta ln x. So beta is square root of 2, and then ln x, plus C3 sine, and then it's beta ln x, so square root of 2 ln x. And that is the final answer. Remember the formula for complex conjugates was x to the alpha c1 cosine beta ln x plus c2 sine beta ln x. So all you have to do is plug in the numbers, and that's how I got that. That's it.